This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is quite a stock market we have. Uh, it's kind of teetering. I don't know whether it's going to go full-fledged forward or whether it's going to go down. I don't think it knows what it's going to do either. Uh, so... We don't know. Nobody, Nobody knows. Will ever know. Nobody knows what's going on. Uh, so it doesn't seem like there's any big driving force either up or down, except the earnings that are coming out uh, keep getting uh, better, if anything. Nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred one million. Uh, Nvidia just came out with their earnings, and they had knockout earnings. Hell yeah! And I consider that the top metaverse stock. I'm excited. Me too. It's going uh, AMD, which is also part of the uh, metaverse, is my number two stock in that area. Then probably number three is Facebook. And just because Facebook is so undervalued. I don't get it. Facebook trades like in the 340s. Uh, it should be in the 440s. Uh, and its earnings growth rate is about 27%. And its price to earnings rate is only about 24, which for a major technology company is not very, very high. Uh, so it's definitely a bargain. But today I want to talk more about the semiconductor stocks and more of the stocks that are supportive of semiconductors. Uh, and I'll tell you what I mean by that as we go along. I have quite a history with applied materials. Uh, the symbol is AMAT. And the story behind applied materials is this company's been around forever. I invested in it in the 1980s. Damn! I bought my first brand new car with money I made off of uh, applied materials. So it's got a fond place in my heart in many ways. <laughs> but I, I haven't been a consistent investor in it by any means, but I've been in and out of it at times. Uh, but most recently, uh, since October, it's been in the 120s, and recently it's like heading towards the 160s. So uh, we've got some serious action going on uh, with this stock. And the thing with them is they make the machines that make the semiconductors. Uh, so they're very integral to the production of semiconductors. And I think that's going to go on uh, for at least another six months. Looking at the chart of applied materials, you can see that since October, it's been trying to make that long jump from the 120s and, and trying to get into the 160s. You can do it! And I think it'll probably make it there and, and go well beyond that. And the amazing thing is that applied materials is still undervalued. It's been in the 150s going towards the 160s. It should be at about 210 if it was fully valued. There's no delicate way to say this. Its price to earnings is 20. What the hell? For a major technology company. Pray for all mankind. And its earnings growth rate is 29%. Uh, which is excellent. Uh, so this c company has plenty of room to grow. And I think the next six months, we're going to see that growth. The next company I want to discuss that helps make semiconductor production possible is Ultra Clean Holdings. When they talk about making semiconductor wafers, they always have clean rooms. Everything has to be uh, clean. <laughs> And this company, as I understand it, provides the gases, the reactive chemicals, the inspection procedures, 
uh, all manner of quality control to make sure you have it ultra clean so you can produce those perfect uh, semiconductor wafers, uh, which is, is so important. Uh, this company is very integral, again, uh, to the production of semiconductors. Looking at the chart on UCTT, you can see that it was in the 40s in October, and it's recently approached and, uh, and has hit the 60s, and hopefully it'll stay there and keep going forward because it, it is undervalued. Token, I get it now. I don't get it. Ultra Clean Holdings just recently breached the 60s, but it has an earnings growth rate of 32%, and it should be in the mid 70s, uh, to my way of thinking. So it has plenty of growth ahead. A further example of how undervalued it is, its price to earnings ratio is only 13 <laughs> for, for a technology company. That's almost laughable. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So I'm investing in it because it's unlikely to be on sale for much longer. The last two companies, you can really get it on with these companies simply because one of their, one is named On and the other one is named On2. On Semiconductor Corporation's uh, symbol is the same as its name, which is simply O-N. On manufactures and sells different semiconductor components for various electronic devices worldwide. If we look at the chart on 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 on, <laughs> we can see that it jumped from the 40s at the end of October into the in, well into the 60s in November. On is undervalued as its earnings growth rate is 32%, and it should be valued more like 75. Its price to earnings ratio is only 21, which is very low for a technology company. So on is just another bargain that's been waiting for me to buy it. Well, we have to go onward to on to. If we look at the chart for on to, Innovation Incorporated, symbol O-N-T-O. Uh, we can see it's a four and a half billion dollar company and it's uh, significantly undervalued. I mean, it's gone from uh, the 70s into the 90s uh, from October into November, uh, but it's, uh, it's projected to be valued at about 115 and its uh, earnings growth rate is about 31%. So again, this is another company uh, which might not be quite the bargain that On uh, was, but it's still a good value. So there you have it. There's four uh, semiconductor companies that are integral to the manufacture of semiconductors and their maintenance and uh, quality control and everything needed to produce them effectively. And they're on sale, they're still on sale, and, and they're going to be going up, I think, uh, for about the, at least the next six months. Uh, the next, uh, in the near future, I'm probably going to make uh, another video on semiconductor related stocks. I seem to be on this kick and uh, because that's where I'm finding value. And the next two companies that I'm thinking of investing in is Micron Technology, sim symbol MU, and Taiwan Semiconductor, symbol TSM. Micron Technology is involved in memory storage. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductor is now going to build out into Phoenix. They've started building already, and I think they'll be manufacturing uh, semiconductors in about uh, one or two years, depending on how fast they go, of course. But that's so important to the United States that we have our own uh, fabricator of semiconductors 
because most semiconductor companies, uh, most of them design uh, semiconductors. They don't, they're called fabulous semiconductor companies because they don't actually produce the semiconductors. Uh, they produce the, uh, uh, the design for the semiconductor and then they outsource it to Taiwan Semiconductor or to Samsung and have them manufacture it. Well, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor is actually going to build and has started to build a factory in Phoenix. So the United States will finally have its own semiconductor factory, which is, has to help our security a lot. Uh, thank you so much if you've listened this far. Uh, and be sure to like and subscribe so that you can hear uh, future videos. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you.